Months ago, the Oregon Department of Transportation said that they ran out of funding to address graffiti off of state highways. And as more vandalism pops up, some of it is now obscuring important signage. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us live from Southwest Portland tonight with more on how ODOT says it's addressing the problem. Jeffrey. Well, ODOT recognizes signs that look like this aren't good. They call it a huge, dangerous issue. I'm told they're doing everything they can to tackle the problem, but it's not that easy. We struggle with these graffiti issues on the highway signs all the time, every day, and people can't really get the good directions that they need to get on the road. Spokesperson for ODOT Don Hamilton says right now funding is lacking to hire the contractors they've had in the past to help them clean signs like this, this, or this, and say while they're aware of all of the vandalism along the highways, they only have the resources to focus on removing graffiti that is explicit, offensive, or dangerously covering important signs. But crews have to find the time to do that on top of their already existing duties. To fix potholes and repair guardrails and all the other kinds of maintenance chores that they have to do. And while Hamilton says he acknowledges the danger of having graffiti on highway signage, he says when it comes to those green big ones, it's not always as easy as scrubbing them down. There are big, big expenses involved when we have to replace those big old freeway green signs out there. Those are not cheap. But it's not just along the highways. Graffiti is something you can find all around Portland. And to some, like Trenton from California, it's not all bad. And graffiti typically is uh, an art form. Many people speak out that way. If you have something to say, you should say it. Or in America, it's a freedom of choice, freedom of will. Freedom to express. Bottom line, as long as it's not offensive, I don't see what the problem is. He believes there is a place for it, though, and freeway signs aren't it. But the reality is that it helps control things. If you're blocking that off, it's not going. ODOT says if they find some additional funding, they might be able to hire some contractors to help with the issues the state highways are seeing. Reporting live from Southwest Portland, I'm Jeffrey Limblom for Fox 12 Oregon.